All is grace. She used to say, all is grace. She was a self-taught piano player, a seamstress, a secretary, and my father's stepmother. Once she told me a story about how she had spent her first paycheck on a new hat and proudly wore it home, only to have her mother scold her for not giving over her wages. After losing her father and her brothers, she had become the main breadwinner, breadwinner and was supporting her mother. Her other saying was, so be it. This was an elegant disguise for someone who had become as hard as nails. She had experienced loss and magnitudes few could bear. Yet she still possessed a joie de vivre that vi rivaled champagne bubbles rising in the air. At every party and family gathering, she was the center of attention because she could sit down at the piano bench and by ear construct the latest popular tunes. And everyone would gather around and sing and dance along. That is how she caught the eye of my grandfather, who was a widower and a cop with a pension. They were together for 11 years at a little house along a stream in Narberth, PA which they called Banaboo, after a place in Ireland where my grandfather was stationed during World War I. When my grandfather died, she sold Banaboo, packed up, and went on a cruise. She used to tell me a story that while on the cruise, she received a telegram. Before opening it, she held it up and yelled, It's a girl! It's a girl! That telegram was sent by my parents to announce my birth. That is how our relationship began. She was always there for me throughout her life. One of my earliest memories was her offering me meringue cookies, which she called kisses. When we would visit her, she would pull out the cookie jar with cookies that were crisp, sweet, and melted in your mouth. I adored those kisses, and I adored Graham.